Hello everyone, this is Scapcat242 and here's my review on the Halo UNSC Marine figures and this is made by Think Wicked Cool Toys. So I had bought this figure a while ago, actually was had no clue that they were even making Halo figures in the 4 inch scale size which I thought was pretty awesome. And he doesn't really come with much but for what this figure is, I thought he looked really cool. So as you can see here. He's got this really cool looking assault rifle and he's pretty well detailed. I was quite surprised um, for a company I never heard of. They did an excellent job on the sculpting and on their, their paint uh, detail. Yeah. But one thing that was a little bit of a disappointment so the knife and the pistol here, those are sculpted on, so they're just there for um, display purposes. So you cannot take any of these things out, which is a shame because I think that would have been a cool use. Because I always like when figures have a uh, usable gun or knife sheaths, but you know, it is what it is. So, articulation on this guy actually is pretty good. I thought that his bulky chest was going to hinder arm movement, but. I was wrong, I'll show you that in a bit. But so, head is on a ball joint and actually he can look down and up, which I thought was really neat. And this easily does come off because there's a little peg right there. It looks like it's a, a double neck joint. So there's one for the neck and one in the head. And just plug that right back in. A ball joint on the shoulders. A little bit hindered because of the um, shoulder pads. There's a ball joint in the elbows. There's a joint in the wrist and there actually is a hinge which I was not expecting. Uh, there is a joint in the upper waist. Kind of hindered a little bit. There is no ab crunch. Doesn't really go far back at all. Uh, ball joints in the legs. And I think there is there is an upper thigh swivel, uh, double joints in the knees, and they go pretty far back. I was really impressed by that. And we have a really good angle pivot. So overall, pretty impressive figure. And as for holding his weapons, so let's do that. But the, oh, one thing I forgot to point out. So there's a little peg right here. There's a hole in the back, so you can just plug this in to his back. So that's a bit of weapon storage right there. So let's put this rifle into his hands. And yeah, I think he holds it pretty well. I was surprised. I thought the bulky chest armor was going to get in the way. So yeah, he's ready, he's ready for combat. So let's compare it to some other foreign scale figures. So one thing I noticed, he is a little bit shorter than most. Oh, I need to get in the stand. Come on. Here, I'm just going to use this for now. There we go. So he is a little shorter than most other foreign figures. So here he is next to a modern G.I. Joe figure. That's the G.I. Joe Trooper. And here he is next to a Joy Toy figure. And compare him to a Marauder's Task Force figure. So yeah, he's a little shorter, but you know, I think it's great to have different scales in your figure lines. So you can just have variety, because not everyone's the same height. So overall, I think he's a really cool figure. Um, not a fan, honestly, I'm not a fan of Halo, but I thought this guy was really cool looking. Um, I recommend picking him up. I would like to maybe get another one, just a troop build. Uh, like he's got potential purposes for your other four inch scale lines. Like you use him as a, a G.I. Joe trooper, you use him as just a, an extra guard, a pilot, driver, whatever you want to do. So yeah, that's my review on this figure and I hope this is very insightful.